Hey everybody, I'm Laura at the Simple Farmhouse and today I'm going to dye the drop cloth curtains in our master bedroom. We've been doing updates in this room for the last year or so, just coming back and forth and doing $100 project here, a $100 project there, including the headboard and also the ceiling, which you can find on my website at thesimplefarmhouse.com. And today I'm gonna to update the curtains. We have had bleached drop cloth curtains in here for several years now, and we've loved them. If you would like a tutorial on how to bleach drop cloth, I also have that back on my YouTube account. I'll link a card here as well. But as we've done updates to this room, we've noticed that we would actually prefer something that blocks a little bit more light in our bedroom. And so instead of going out and spending more money, I'm going to try to convert the curtains we already have using RIT dye. So come along with me and we'll see how this works out. I found these extra large bottles of RIT on Amazon for a really good price. I'll link them below for you. And I chose to mix charcoal gray with taupe, hoping to kind of temper that darker element of the charcoal gray. I should have followed a mixing chart, but the art teacher in me went rogue here. So I recommend going to RITDye.com and following the color formulas there. I needed three bottles for my panels two charcoal, one taupe, and I mixed it in a glass bowl to make sure it was evenly mixed. I'm gonna pour this into a full top-loading washing machine with hot water. I made sure this was agitated and fully mixed before adding my panels. Also recommended is using a cup of salt. This is per the directions on RITDye.com. I increased the temperature of my water using a pot of boiling water to help that dye really soak into the fibers. I allowed the panels to soak for 30 minutes and then I rinsed and ran it through the wash again with detergent. This was the color that came out. It's a little bit blue and a lot darker than I was expecting. The taupe actually didn't temper the charcoal or lighten it. So I'm wondering if I would like to try this again or if I should just go and purchase the color curtains that I'm hoping for. Here are two colors on the RIT dye mixing chart that I think could work for this space. I tried using my husband's office curtains up here to see if I like the way that looks. Let me know what you guys think. Should I retry this or go out and just buy some fabric like I did for my husband's office and make it what I want. Have you dyed fabric before to get the look that you want? I would love to hear about your experience in the comments below. And I hope that my honesty in this little DIY project helps you in the future with do's and don'ts for using dye. For a full list, check out the description box below. If you would like to receive more videos, hit that subscribe button and click the bell to receive notifications. Until next time.